On Monday, the Indian Army successfully conducted a combat launch of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile from a test range in the Bay of Bengal, marking a major advancement in India's long-range precision strike capabilities. The Ministry of Defence confirmed that the mission was executed through a coordinated operation involving a dedicated BrahMos unit of the Southern Command with support from the Tri Services Andaman and Nicobar Command. The test validated the missile system's combat readiness under operational conditions. According to the Southern Command, the missile roared across the Bay of Bengal and struck its designated target with pinpoint accuracy, underscoring its unmatched speed, precision and destructive power. The Army emphasized that the launch reaffirmed India's ability to conduct decisive precision strikes at extended ranges. Equipped with advanced guidance, navigation and control systems, the BrahMos demonstrated exceptional flight stability and terminal accuracy. The mission achieved all predefined objectives under simulated battlefield conditions, highlighting the preparedness of BrahMos units to undertake real-time missions amid evolving security challenges. Lieutenant General Dheerat Seth, General Officer Commanding in Chief of Southern Command, praised the personnel involved, describing the launch as a testament to the army's professionalism and technological progress. The BrahMos system has already proved its operational value, notably during Operation Sindur in May 2025, when India reportedly used BrahMos missiles launched from Su-30 MKI aircraft to strike 11 Pakistani air bases in coordinated precision attacks during the India-Pakistan conflict. Pakistan's Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif later acknowledged that the strikes preempted planned retaliatory action. The latest test strengthens India's deterrence posture and demonstrates the reliability of indigenous missile systems. It also reflects progress under the Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative, reinforcing India's commitment to self-reliance in critical defence technologies and enhancing its strategic capabilities in the region.